Hello and a very warm welcome to Basel for our continuing coverage of the 2019 HSBC BWF World Tour. We're in northwest Switzerland in Basel, the St. Jacobs Hall, built nearly 50 years ago, and it's finals day. Well, here is where we've been so far. We started off in Thailand and Malaysia. This is part of the European swing. Spain, Germany, England, now here in Switzerland. Next stop for us in a couple of weeks, the India Open, and that'll be in New Delhi. World Tour Finals, the climax, just before Christmas. Well, here's what we have for you coming up today. It's a great programme, really. A mixed doubles final, first of all. No one expected uh, these two pairs, the Danes, Beishmit and Serbi, against the Indonesians, Rivaldi and Mentari, both pairs chasing a first major title. Then it's the women's doubles. Japanese youngsters Matsuyama and Shida take on the experienced Chang and Jun of Korea. The men's final follows that. Top seed Shi Yuchi starts big favorite against Indian giant killer Sai Praneeth, who did for the second seed Chen Long yesterday. Chen Yufei is one of today's star attractions. The woman's top seed takes on the attacking Japanese Sayina Kawakami in the battle of the 21-year-olds. And our climax is the men's doubles final, Indonesians Alfian and Ardianto going for an eighth career title against Liam Wang of Chinese Taipei. Here's how the race to Guangzhou stands, early days of course, to qualify for those World Tour finals in Guangzhou. Top eight go through and currently at this early stage, as mentioned, Watanabe and Higashino of Japan are top of the mixed doubles rankings. Well, here's how the draw for the mixed has panned out. If you were with us yesterday, you'd have seen that phenomenal victory from Beishmit and Serbia against Lumen Chen of China. Coming back after losing the first game to win it in three, Rivaldi and Mentari also needed three games to see off Lu and Li of Chinese Taipei. Please welcome from Denmark, Matthias Beismith and Rike Serbu. Big hand for the Danes who were terrific yesterday, they really were. Big, big outsiders after losing the first game in which they'd led 7 love and 11 3, but they found the resolve, they found a way to get it done. And they go one step further today, take down a first major title. Please welcome from Indonesia, Rina Privaldi and Peter Haningtias Mentari. Also chasing their biggest win so far in their careers, the two Indonesians, both teenagers. Not the only way is up, they've got big, big futures, both of them in this sport. No surprise, it's the first meeting between this pair. Okay, so what do you choose? Red or black? Red, you take work. It's red. Decide. You serve, but he has to serve who is receiving. Peter to receive. Okay. Well, let's put some flash on the bones then ahead of this mixed doubles final, which <laughs> very hard to call, you've got to say. Beishmit was superb yesterday. He turns 23 on Tuesday. See the highest ranking of 59. Be a lot higher than that, I would imagine, in the next few years. He has won a couple of mixed doubles titles. Uh, smaller events in the Czech Republic with a different partner than uh, Serbi there. Her highest ranking, as you can see, is 90. She did win a mixed doubles title at Croatian International way back. 2013. 
with uh, Nicholas Knorr. A couple of years older, as you saw than a partner. Had some battles this week, but they've got here that uh, semi-final match over an hour. And as I said, they came from a game down to try and pin that one. And their opponents from Indonesia. Ranked 19, which is uh, highest ranking. Found the won gold at the World Juniors in mixed doubles a couple of years ago. Playing with the big boys now. Not a big man, just five foot seven. It's tremendous spring. You'll see that with his jump smashes momentarily. And his partner, Peter Mentari. Same age, 19. Ready to play. A runner-up uh, at the side mode in India last year. That was a, a Super 300 tournament as well. And they won a Super 100 event on home soil last year. They took nearly an hour to get past Lou and Lee yesterday in a, a similar marathon battle in the quarters against uh, Alison Smith of England. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Pita Hanintia Smentari and Rino Rivaldi, Indonesia. And on my left, Rike Söbü and Matthias Beismit, Denmark. Matthias Pai Smith to serve to Peter Haningtias Mentari. Love all. Play. So here we go then. First shuttle about to be hit in anger on finals day. They got off to a, a lightning Service start over. yesterday, Beishmit and uh, Serbia with that seven love lead. In fact, they lost the game but went on to win the match. There's an example of that spring I was telling you about in Rivaldi. Oh. Very quick onto that. Tementari. Got the body of her opponent. Absolutely nothing Serbi could do. Who love? Crowd involved early here. Oh. That was a pretty good leave. Yes. Late decision, a good one. Love. Well, it was Beishmit and Serbia who were off to the lightning start yesterday. Four Today, love. history certainly isn't repeating there. Four love down inside a, barely a minute. That'll make you feel a bit better. One, four. That's a terrific shot from Beishmit. He had Ravaldi in all kinds of problems there. 
She did pretty well just to get a, a racket on it, but easy Two. kill for Serbi. Well, they really are playing well as a team, Rivaldi and Mentari. Particularly Rivaldi from the back Six, of the court, Mentari two. at the net. Service error from Atari. Yeah, that was well done by Ricky Servi. Just spread across there, good anticipation, forced the error. Four, seven. A couple of uh, unforced errors, though, from her. A few nerves around, maybe. Big, big, big match for both these pairs. Great rally, terrific rally. And hear what the crowd thought about it. Well, a little bit fortunate with the net cord, Serbi, but I'll take it. Too much power from Rivaldi for Serbi to deal with. Wasted no time, Beishmi, getting in close to the net there. Saw the opportunity. Six, nine. Because Mentari didn't do much with it. Six foot three, Matthias Beishmet. Probably more like nine Eight, foot nine. that uh, elevation he gets for the jump smash. And from four love down, they're back within a point.
Nein. Oh. Nein. Yeah, that time Mentari out thought Serbia hit the net. It's almost like a little game of chess there going on within a game of badminton. Ten, nine. Well, it's intriguing, isn't it? Said at the start, I thought it'd be a hard match to call. And after the Indonesians got off to a flyer, suddenly nip and tuck. It was out, so although there's going to be a challenge, that was the last point before the interval anyway. So we're going to have a look at this. It was called out. First time Hawkeye's in the action today. And it was a good call. So a narrow advantage to the Indonesians at the interval. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 11-10. Interval. Wasted no time stamping his authority on that point, did he, Bashman? 11 all. One huge stride takes him from the back court to the forecourt, pretty much. Did that hit his partner? Over. Yes. Let's have a look. Oh no, straight into the ground. Total miss, miss Q. Read the serve perfectly. <laughs> Parted his hair, that one. Well, all. Oh. Serbia, I think, expected. Dave Schmidt, get that. 13, Just died, didn't reach her partner. Over 13 all. 
Had a great angle there, Bayshwick, didn't he? They really are playing well as a team, the two Danes. 14, Saw the open court 13. and found it unerringly there. It's going to be a challenge from the Indonesians. A fair way away, but it looked like it was a good call. Down to Hawkeye to confirm whether that was the case or not. Called out. Yeah, well out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 15. 13. Play. Serve <laughs> is over. 14. 15. Thought about a challenge 15, and thought better of it. Oh. So we're all square again, getting towards the business end of this opening game. Didn't do enough with the block, Serbi, and it sat up for Mentari to put it away. First time the Indonesians have led since the interval. And it narrowly. 15. What a pity. Great rally. Service over. 16. All. He's done that a few times. Picked off the entire serve. 16. Wouldn't be denied. You know, for Valdi. Service over. Seventeen. Sees oh. mid court when he plays that. Very, very difficult for Serbi. Very costly error of judgment. <laughs> oh, 
Or maybe not. <laughs> that is over. Literally blow for blow moment. 18 all. It's a great angle from Ricky Servi. Nineteen stooped but didn't conquer. Massive point this. And here are two game points for the Danes. Twenty game points, eighteen. Oh, great reactions at the net. Twenty one eighteen. Bay Schmidt and Serbi strike first in this mixed doubles final. First game won by Matthias Great Bay entertainment. Bay. And a lot more badminton left in this. Second game. Love all. Play. Somehow found a way. They look big underdogs there. Serve is over. One love. Well, they started well in the first game of Valdi Mentari. History repeating La. here. Ah. 
Serve is over. One, three. Maybe even Rivaldi would admit he's not been at his sparkling best so far. That's good. Time is over. Quick hands again from Serbi. That is over. Four. All. <laughs> that is over. Five. And Tari got lucky with the net cord. Serve. Six, four. Another oh, trick. Serve uh, Relatively straightforward jump smash from mid court. Nearly 300 kilometers an hour. A few net cords in this match. Well, you need to take advantage of your good fortune when you get it. And they've opened up a three point lead now. Rivaldi and Mentari. Seven, four. That's another one. Nine, five. Just get the feeling that the impetus here has uh, Ten, turned around. Five.
Lekker, lekker. Lekker, lekker. Dat is over. Thank you. Belated appeal, wasn't it, from uh, Rivaldi? <laughs> Their opponents had uh, infringed, but chair umpire happy. <laughs> Good anticipation again. Seven, ten. So a handy lead, three-point lead at the interval for the Indonesians as they try and get back in this match. Firing as they revealed it. Twelve eight. Okay. Thank you. That is over. Well, another net call, but they couldn't take advantage of it. That was a surprising miss, really. Well, you'd say, looking at the scoreboard, that Indonesians in control here, but both and pairs have shown they 14. can rattle off three or four consecutive points quickly, so no means certain.
Just stretching for that a little bit. Wonderful deception from Rivaldi. 17, 10. Time is over. Well, the comeback has to start now from the Danes. 11, 17. That is absolutely that is perfect placement. The turn of the wrist created that angle. And now they're really warming to the task. 19, 11. Play. Amazing game, Babington, isn't it? So much about momentum. Now 20, it suddenly looks really one-sided. Terrific shot. He's floated it over the heads of his opponents and nine opportunities to level the match here. Well, the first game was a struggle for Rivaldi and Mentari. Second game, they won it comprehensively. Game, 21 points to 12. Rivaldi Decider Gita, coming up. Yes, Mentari. 21 12. One game off. Final 
again. Love all. Play. So can the Danes find that intensity they showed you in the first game? Or will the Indonesians just build on what we've seen in the last uh, 10 or 15 minutes? They rattled through that Love second game. One love. It's a very good leave. He was almost, he'd almost taken off to play the shot. And this time it's uh, Beishman and Serbi's shot. Uh, turn to get off to a flyer. Third time lucky. Nothing Mentari could do. Stout defence initially from the teenager. Bashman was getting nearer and nearer to the net. <laughs> and she was under more and more pressure. Well, where did this come from? because they were completely dominated in the latter stages of the second game. They've come out to the decider. Inspired. Too many net calls themselves. They should pick the Serbia. That one was useful though. Six, one. Seven, Oh, what a pity that rally finished with an error because it was gripping Thanks stuff. Two, seven. But still in a bit of a hole, the Indonesians here. Short of support here of Ali Mentari. Oh! 
employee A. Goes over. It's amazing how luck comes and goes, doesn't it? Oh, had all the net calls in the first couple of games, Indonesians, and now it's turned round. Nine, three. point they've just got to keep their concentration levels high here the Danes put themselves into a, a great position well picked off by Mentari Sure, I heard a Serbi shout out there wanting Bashmik to leave that. sudden the Indonesians are charging here just look like they've become a, a tad negative basement and Serbi to the the moment where you, you kind of wonder Nine, where your ten. next point is coming from if you're basement and Serbia having started this game so well Anticlimactic, so they'll have a lead, the Danes, at the interval, but it's only a couple of points. Eleven nine. 
Play. Let's get the feeling it's vital for the Danes to start well here. Straight after the interval. And that was a very well played point. Had their two opponents all over the place. Shown us some wonderful use of angles, uh, Servi, this week. Oh! is over. Ten, twelve. Once again, with the benefit of that uh, net cord. 13, 10. That's a great angle. She really got across quickly. Snap away that backhand, Mentari. 11, 14. Oh, wasn't missing those earlier. 12, 14. Touch again from Serbi. Sixteen, well. Every time Rivaldi and Mentari threaten to get close in this game, the Danes find a little bit extra. There are definitely some nerves out there. Biggest title of either pair's career this would be. Mixed doubles. You see the winning line, the Danes, but it's still a fair way away. with the serve and they're just a couple of points away now Thank you. 
1914. Real attention out there. Great angle initially from Beishmet, said he finished it off. And here are four championship points for the Danes. Just under the hour, it's a terrific win for Matthias Beishner, Ricky Serby, the biggest of their career. The Indonesians fought back well in the second game, but they couldn't sustain it. Well, that'll help you fly up the rankings, that's for sure. Here's the winning points again. Won by Matthias Paul-Smith, Enrique Serbu, 21, 18, 12, 21, 21, 16. a fabulous performance 21 18 12 21 21 16 56 minutes the match time and of course this being finals day we're going to have the presentations after each individual The officials lined up there by the podium.
So presentation party on their way, along with the winners and runners up. Verehrte Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer, ladies and gentlemen, Siegerehrung im Mixed Doppel, Prize giving ceremony of the Mixed Doubles. And the that's the Basel Dragon on the right, in case you're watching. <laughs> he loves to get in the picture. President, President of the Organizing Committee and Werner Rahm from Klassentechnik Werner Rahm. The Pokale were gestiftet from the trophies sponsored by Klassentechnik Werner Rahm. The Taschenmesser were sponsored by the Knives sponsored by Victorinox. The Uhren were sponsored by the Watches sponsored by Wenger SA. The runners-up of the mixed doubles representing Indonesia, Runa Frivaldi and Pita Haninchas Mentari. Well, they threatened in that second game to really take the match by the scruff of the neck, but they just couldn't go on with it in the decider. Nonetheless, in a check for $5,700. And of course, the runners up trophy and a whole load of ranking points as well. Only 6,000 ranking points do them a power of good. of the Yonex Swiss Open 2019 in mixed doubles, representing Denmark, Matthias Beismit and Rikke Sergi. Well, they were fantastic yesterday and they were pretty good today as well. Dropped their level in that second game, but came back really strongly in the deciding game. And as well as the trophy, they get a check for just shy of 12,000 US dollars and uh, 7,000 ranking points as well, which they badly need. We'll get them shooting up the list. Started from pretty low down. So congratulations again to the Danes. There he is. He's actually promoting the uh, World Championships here in August as well, the Basel Dragon. We're back shortly with the women's doubles final.